Hi there guys, so the big one, Tyson Fury vs Braun Strowman has ended in an epic knockout. Tyson Fury is now 1-0 in the WWE, he is undefeated as a wrestler and as a boxer. He has knocked out Braun Strowman with a big shot when Braun Strowman least expected it. Now obviously this is scripted and this was always going to happen, but Tyson Fury done extremely well in his first outing in the WWE. I mean. I don't think many expected him to be that athletic going in. Because Tyson Fury is a good boxer, hit and don't get hit is his forte. And this was completely against that. It was something completely different. And Tyson Fury has shown us something that we never believed he could even do. He was being picked up, thrown around the ring, and those ropes that he was being slung into, I mean, he was taking a battering, especially being thrown into the turnbuckle. And some of the things that weren't supposed to land were landing. Some of those headbutts into the body they were actually taking an effect to Tyson Fury. So, I mean, while it is scripted, while it is fake, I mean, Tyson Fury was taking punishment, being dropped on the canvas like that. He's a big guy, Braun Strowman is a big guy, so, I mean, they can take some of the sting out of it, but not all of it. So Tyson Fury done himself proud, and without doubt, he's done his kids proud as well. Because they are huge WWE fans, we knew that going in, and one of his kids is a big fan of Braun Strowman, the guy that Tyson Fury the kid's dad has just knocked out. So what a hero Tyson Fury is to his son. And you can't really ask anything more of that from Tyson Fury. But the born showman Tyson Fury is not done yet. He is also teaming up with Robbie Williams and looking to go into the UFC later this year as well. So there is a lot on the agenda for Tyson Fury with the epic rematch with Deontay Wilder on February 22nd next year. So Tyson Fury is a busy man and he has started off with a great winning streak in the WWE, now he moves on to UFC, and then the big one, Deontay Wilder. Tyson Fury has just made a big name for himself in WWE, and will this be the only one? Is this just a one-off? I don't believe so, because I believe that Tyson Fury was really good in this matchup. As I said, it's fake, it's scripted, all of that, but still Tyson Fury done very well, and for a man of his stature and size, 6 foot 9, I mean, being picked up and thrown around doesn't come easy when you are that size. And there were moments in the fight that Tyson Fury looked like he was struggling and he had to be carried by Braun Strowman, which is natural because Tyson Fury has only been doing this for about a month or more, maybe six weeks at the most. So Tyson Fury is new to this and he handled it very, very well. Tyson Fury is a true and born entertainer and he has proven that once more tonight. Tyson Fury was dropped at one stage and he was Polex, and once again Tyson Fury rose from the dead, just like he did against Deontay Wilder. I mean, that was a given that something like that was going to happen, because Tyson Fury famously got up from a big right hand from the Bronze Bomber in his epic comeback for the WBC World Championship, and he was dropped out starfished, but he sat straight up and just looked at Braun Strowman, and then continued the fight. So Tyson Fury done extremely well in his WWE debut, and Tyson Fury even praised Braun Strowman by saying that he could beat Vladimir Klitschko, the heavyweight champion of the world who reigned for 10 years, but whose reign was ended by Tyson Fury himself. Next, it's going to be UFC for Tyson Fury. That is what we are led to believe. But at the moment, he is a new star in the WWE. Guys, what are your thoughts on this Crown Jewel event and Tyson Fury's performance? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, click the thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Thanks guys.